That is what they are saying their plan is. And this right here will be home to 34-year-old Adeleni Marquina for the foreseeable future. That's because if she steps foot outside of this storefront church beginning tomorrow, she will be deported. Adeleni Marquina is hoping for an immigration reprieve. Until then, the pregnant mom of three boys is being tracked via this ankle monitor. It's been on her body since May 15th, a month after the Mexico native lost her request for permanent asylum. She's not looking for t to take away anything from nobody here. She just wants better for her family and her kids. A friend, Jessica, translates for Marquina, who, along with her family, is seeking sanctuary in the Chicago Lawn Church. Her attorney also filed this letter with U.S. officials giving them notice. Marquina says she fled Mexico four years ago after the drug cartel demanded thousands of dollars in payments her family couldn't pay. They were threatening them and they were hurting her, fa her family and her, her, they cut her, one of her husband's fingers off because they, they, couldn't pay, they couldn't afford to pay the quota to stay there. Going back, she says, is just too dangerous. If it is necessary, she will stay here trying to get them to reopen her case because she doesn't want to go to Mexico and see one of her kids get shot or be in danger. It's, it's in yes, it's in fair, it's, it's in moral. Says Pastor Jose Landa Verde, which is one reason he says providing her family a safe sanctuary was an easy choice. You're not afraid that ICE officials will come here? Well, we're not afraid. We hope that they will respect a sanctuary. Chicago is a sanctuary city, but it's not clear how or if that will impact what immigration officials do after tomorrow. Attempts to reach them tonight for comment were unsuccessful. Live in Chicago Lawn, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Brad. All right, Dana, thank you.